A doctor say, you know, I want to create my life uh, like that. Mm. L- let's try. Let's try. Yeah. I try and it works. Yeah, esatto. Yeah. Esatto. Ciao ragazzi, buongiorno, benvenuti in questo nuovo video. Oggi sono qui con una nuova amica, Monique, viene dal Canada e da una viaggiatrice come me, da ben 25 anni. Sentirete un po' la sua storia, parleremo in inglese. Eh, non parlo italiano, io non parlo francese, quindi parleremo in inglese. Quindi ci saranno i sottotitoli, poi si, si capirà tutto comunque. Va bene? We can start. Eh? What do you think? Nice to meet you. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> It's nice to have a new friend. We, we spoke a lot in these days. I have the first question that is, uh, why you start traveling all, right. all this time? <laughs> well, travel was um, a dream when I was a kid. When I had to choose a profession, I wanted to be a doctor without border so I could travel around the world. It didn't work. I wait. Well, it came true. One day, somebody told me, I have someone. I said, is it crazy if I sell everything and go around the world? He said, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. but do it. Yeah. And I did it. I sold everything, bought a backpack and left alone by myself. Wow. Like a big girl. I said that you started traveling in 1998, 25 exactly. years ago. Yeah. How, how did you start traveling? Because now you have Google Maps, you have booking, you have everything. It was a challenge, but it was uh, a freedom also because we didn't have all those cell phones and, and anything. So oh, my first travel was uh, a bet. Uh, somebody called me and I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm leaving for India in a week. Why don't you come with me? Uh, in a week, okay. I did my backpack. I bought a visa, passport and everything. And one week later, I was in India, leaving, arriving in Mumbai. How, how do you feel the first time? I, I don't know if you... I felt like, like a bird. When you sell everything, you don't have any bills coming. You don't... It's like your shoulder are light. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I felt like a bird I could fly all over the world. It was it was like like a dream come true. I felt yeah, I don't have your experience, but I I have just one year of experience of that and I when I I, I sold my house, sold my things, I I felt like back free. Yeah. I, I I didn't have things to 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 remember to pay or oh, I didn't pay that, I didn't pay these things so Exactly. Free free to do w- what you want. And it was freedom, and my first step was India, well, the big so, country yeah, exactly. India. And I felt grounded right away. I felt happy. I, I felt home. Now India, I stayed six months ago, and now India is full of tourists. Uh, it's not like uh, maybe the country that you met. No, it no. was like, uh, then it was like uh, no tourists. I mean, uh, uh, taking the bus, uh, most of the time I was the only foreigner on the bus, so... When I was taking the train, the family always in India traveled uh, together. Uh-huh. So they thought uh, that I was rejected by my family. <laughs> <laughs> they decided to adopt me and give me food. And uh, so the traveling was a pleasure. It was like a, a party and uh, a welcoming party. So yeah. it was nice. Some people, some tourists didn't like it, but I like it. I thought it was a good connection. Yeah, because you can find, uh, like, like us now, you, you can find people that think, that speak, li- like you, mm-hmm. no? So you, you understand that uh, you are not alone in the world, no, no. we say. No, not alone. And, and also another, another thing important that I remind that, uh, for example, for my parents, hello to my parents, and uh, they think every time that uh, when I traveling here, for example, in Palma de Mallorca or in India, in Thailand, they thought I am every time alone. Maybe I'm sad. Maybe I, I'm not... Uh... Or be crazy. Yeah, maybe crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard all no. that. Uh, they thought I was crazy. Some thought that I was uh, depressed. Some thought, oh, they are so, she's so sad. She's looking for happiness. <laughs> uh, one, uh, the, the husband of my friend, he said, oh, she's so poor. She doesn't have a house anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't need a house to, to be happy. For me, it was like time, good time, perfect time. And India was grounded. I was really happy. I did class. I did um, a lot of things. When you start traveling or when you are traveling, you need to take care about the expenses, no? for example. So if I can ask, I don't know, how can you manage your expenses in your uh, journey, Well, life journey? I was kind of free spirit because then um, ATM wasn't existing everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, some countries didn't have any. Uh, so you had to carry some cash. Sometimes um, 
uh, after I met uh, David, which was, which became my boyfriend for 19 years, we traveled together. Sometimes we just throw a penny over the map and say, oh, okay, we go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. <laughs> or meeting someone say, hey, there's a festival in that place. Or this place is so great, you should go. So the things happen like free, that. Yeah, when you're free, you just go. You just go. Yeah, d just, mm, okay. Okay, but I know... Uh, I, I put myself in the other side, I don't know, all the people that think about, for example, me, ah, you are traveling all the time, so you are in vacation all the time, you have a lot of money in the bank, you are, it's not like that, uh, you know very that's, well. That's, that's true, that, especially when you travel in Asia where a lot of people are not having a lot of money, exactly. so they think that uh, because you're there, you're rich. Yeah, exactly. I say uh, I'm rich, but rich inside, in my heart. Yeah. I'm rich because I'm happy where I am, I'm happy with who I am. Yeah, so exactly. this is so point. this is the happiness. I mean, you don't yeah, need more. I think that in the in the first in the first position you you need to have happiness and after you I don't know, you, you, you can do whatever you want. In my thinking is like if each of us are happy, we spill happiness around us, uh, the world will be happy. You don't have to bring the neighbor happy. Be happy yourself and it will You don't need to you don't need to be happy with someone else, for example. I know. You need to be happy and after you can add value to your life. No? That, that's true what you said. It's like often um, people uh, depend on happiness of hmm. another one. It's like uh, sometimes the couple, they say that I'm happy because you're happy. No, it doesn't work that no, way. Exactly. Exactly. It's each, each does uh, have to be happy by itself, by themselves. Uh, you asked me before about uh, uh, how I travel, yeah. um, well, we use everything who was there. Sometimes it was car, bus, tuk-tuk, horse, uh, camel. I even climb on a I yak in, in Mongolia. Fine, yeah. uh, I can tell you, don't try the yak. It's really hard on your personal... For the yak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the yak part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is for you the best place, let me say, the best place that you visit. And the uh, worst uh, in English is worst. Okay. The worst, yes. Yeah. Well, the best is always where you start. For me, uh, it was India that I start. So India always have a place in my heart. And I went back like uh, at least six times, six months each time. So well, I, I, did all, I did all the state. I probably visit more than each Indian. <laughs> but um, the worst place, uh, I like people. Uh, that's the first thing yeah, uh, exactly. that I, I, when I travel, I travel for the people. Not for seeing every, okay, it's nice to see architecture and everything. Yeah, for sure. But first is the people. The place where the people were not uh, really nice. Uh, when I went to Venezuela, it was the President Chavez and it okay. was, uh, we were treated really badly. So for me, I don't have a good memory of Venezuela. Uh, same in, uh, in Brazil, not because it's a, not a nice country, but you always have to watch your bag mm -hmm. because okay. uh, there is a lot of teeth, there is a lot of, people attack the criminality is you know criminality is i so i stay three months <laughs> even if wow. I, from the north from suriname all the way to rio but uh, watching my, my back all the time yeah yeah because i had i had money in my own uh, okay yeah yeah <laughs> i understand <laughs> Yeah, but it's not, uh, I, I want to say that, it's not about you are a woman and I'm a man. It's about everyone. It's, uh, you are a tourist. You are a target. Yeah, a target, yeah. yeah. This is the good, uh, yeah. good word there. Okay. You are a target. And women are, are a lot of time a target because, you know, let's call it the predator, but some, some uh, men think that uh, because you're a foreigner in certain country, they think that can, they can touch you, they can, uh -huh. they can, you know, take advantage of you. So uh, this part, um, you have to learn. It's a, a hard learning sometimes, but mm. um, I was lucky to meet David because I had most of the time I had. Most sport. of the time. Mm. Yeah. You know, except when he was going to America. But um, yeah, most of the time he was with me. Someone that take care of me. I yeah, know how say. to take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. I know how to kick. I, I, I feel that. I feel that. I, I don't want to try. <laughs> About, I, I don't know, no? so for example, I, I'm traveling and when I'm traveling, I put all the expenses in travel spend, I show you, you know, 
an application to, to, to put all the spend, uh, expenses in order to understand my budget. Uh, I don't know. How do you manage your budget, let me say? Or I, uh, if, <laughs> I'm really that, bad. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I, I never did a budget. I trust life so much that pay attention. I mean, <laughs> I don't throw my money by renting an expensive hotel or having an expensive meal. And my feeling is like if I pay attention every day a little bit, that uh, I'm okay. I just, uh, I never had from the beginning any budget. Well, someone did my budget for 10 years uh, when I left my work. Uh, I did 25 years with his 10 years. So okay. I guess I'm not too bad in budget. Uh, yeah, no, it's not yeah. Bad. yeah, he told me that I could travel with the money I had. I could travel for 10 years, but I did 25. Be because maybe, I, I don't know, it's my, it's my opinion. When I start traveling, I, I know that, for example, I knew that, for example, in Thailand, it will be very cheap. But I didn't understand or thought was very, very cheap. Okay. For, for example, go outside to the restaurant. Well, what we were doing then is like when we feel that we want to go to somewhere in Europe, which was more expensive, we would spend like uh, maybe nine to ten months in Asia. So the budget was lower there. So we, we saved there. We could spend it in, in Europe because we know that Europe is a bit ah, Okay. Hard. Okay. But in Europe, we use a lot couch surfing, which was... Uh, a, we spoke a, about that. Yeah. yeah, so it was a free stay. And we save. And you know, when you travel, you make a lot of friends. Like today, yeah, we, exactly. we are you, my new friends. And the friends I made uh, all over Asia, they said, well, when you come in, in my country, in Germany or in France or in Italy... Uh, you have a place, you have, to, you have say. A place to say, yeah. So we never abuse two days, sometimes three days, but they always told us we have a place to stay. So, okay, I started in 98, so the cost of life yeah, was lower. Was lower yeah. So in 98, I spent about 6,000 US dollars a year. 6,000 6, US dollars a year. Yeah. So that there was including uh, my lodging, my food, medication, everything, and f uh, at least one flight a year. We spend this 6000 until maybe 2005. After wow. the, the cost sites start to be higher, but um, mm -hmm. until then, uh, that was our spending. Trying to, to do, it's like $500 every month. About. Yes, uh, some, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So uh, that's why I, I, yeah, I, I stretch yeah, the budget. A... Like we talk about India or Thailand or... A lot of people, um, they love countries in India or they hate countries in India. Most of the time, what I hear when they hate it is because they had been sick. They go in bigger hotel and they, it, it's where they get sick. If you don't want to be sick on traveling, eat on the street and eat with the local eat. Yeah, exactly. If it's the true. restaurant is empty, it's not good to go in. Yeah, you true. turn around, you go somewhere else. You have to use your head a little bit. I haven't never been sick in India. And I was there for at least all together, maybe three years and a half. Yeah, so and they did the statistics are not the same that you are telling. So. It's where you eat. Mm -hmm. It's important. And what you eat, because if you're on the road all the time, I was telling you today, it's important to pay attention of your food because you don't want to miss your vitamin. You don't want to start to be sick. So you have to balance your food also. So we spoke about a lot of things. If you have some advices for people that want to start this life journey. First, travel light, because when I start, I didn't start traveling light because you don't know what to put in your backpack. You put so, everything. I had too much weight and year after year I took some weight and you realize that you don't need much. I mean, yeah, exactly. you can wash your clothes. So now I travel with 10 kilo and I but travel with 20 kilo before. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, told me. and plus if you go to Asia, the price of clothes are so cheap. You can travel Asia buying there and leaving it to a beggar. When I was tired to wear uh, a t-shirt, I would just uh, buy a new one and give the other one to uh, yeah, someone exactly. in the street because they don't have much. About hotel, hostel, you stayed, I think, in a hostel or... Mm, I stay in everything. <laughs> in every, every place. That you <laughs> well, can when we start in India, they even didn't have sheet on the bed. We had to carry a, a sleeping bag. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but it changed now. It changed. It's, it changed for the better. Having a room with bathroom and balcony for seventy-five cents. Whoa! <laughs> you don't seventy-five cents. Yeah, U.S. cents. So, so you don't have uh, you don't have that anymore. I always choose middle way uh, of staying, not too cheap and 
not too not expensive. Too expensive. When we started, it was we didn't have cell phone, so it was easy arriving in a town, South America or anywhere, just uh, walking around and finding something that we like. Okay. We had basis like a comfortable bed and cleanness. Cleanness was the first. If it's clean, I don't mind uh, anything else. I can give you advice for when you have to take a transport. Some countries you have to bargain. Like uh, India, the people are bargaining. It's a pleasure. It's a, it's a way of life, I should say. Not a pleasure, a way of life. If um, if somebody was saying my tuk-tuk is 50 rupee, I would say I give you 25. <laughs> yeah, the alpha. And he would tell me 40. No, I go for 30. And we were bargaining like that back and forth. The people who were not bargaining, the Indian, we calling them stupid tourists. <laughs> because so, they don't start. Then uh, this is a game for them. The easiest way we found is uh, asking the hotel mm, how much okay. is f- how much is from this hotel to the bus station. If she say is say ten rupee, you put ten rupee exact change in your pocket. When you arrive at the bus station, you take your backpack, you put your backpack, and you put the ten rupee in the hand of the That's taxi. It. And he look at this and he's, he cannot say anything because it's the right price. That's the right price. <laughs> is that? So that worked really well. When you travel, if you have something happen, that's something you can tell. That's your story. Yeah, exactly. exactly. If nothing happened, what are you going to say? You, what do you have to say? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is good. Yeah. yeah, okay. Everything is good is I a know, good thing. But that is a good thing to uh, yeah. tell a story. Even to, uh, some years ago, jump off a train. And you will see when you age, you forget that you don't have the age. I was thinking I was 20. Yeah, it's a good thing. But the feeling is that one. Eh? I, I feel that we have, I don't know, difference of age. There is no age. You're, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, age a, num- that you feel it's just like. a number. Age is just a number. Uh, so, so sometimes people like me, eh, I say, I don't know, I'm 32, maybe not it's too late, but I, I have to think about the, the right things, no? A good job, a good family, I do, I'll create a family, I don't know. But after say, you know, I want to create my life uh, like that. Mm. Let, let's try. Let's try. Yeah. I try and it works. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And me, yeah, I want to tell one advice is about the, um, for example, for the hostel or whatever will be the your, your stop to, to sleep. To don't take, for example, I, I, I stayed in Tenerife one month the first time and I took the hostel in every place two months before. So when I arrived there, I said, ah, I don't like this, but I, I had to spend one week there because I paid for that week. It's better to yeah, have a plan, maybe a little plan, but do, don't plan all the places. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't want to stay here, you can stay just yeah. one night, yeah. go there, stay That's one true. month. That's true. If you want um, so, some places when we travel, we were like, uh, Japan look expensive. Uh, Galapagos Island was like, Every time you look on the net, it was like 3,000, 4,000. It's like, we cannot afford that. We went to Galapagos. We rent just two nights before going and we stay a month. So I didn't ask you before, uh, how many countries you visit? Mm. <laughs> I didn't count recently, but I think about 146, something like 146, that. 146? Eh? Yeah, about. Ah, wow. It's, it's easier. All the world. It's easier to say the one I didn't do. Yeah, just one. Uh, well, if I remember. The, the, the war one, the one mm, who are yeah. in war and um, uh, David was American. So American, I blocked in Iran and some countries. So mm. I didn't do Iran. And uh, I have another question re- related to that. Y- your passport is a strong passport or you, you had some trouble? I don't know. To well, Canadian passport is, uh, I think it's kind of an easy one. It happened in some countries in Africa that I had to pay more for a visa. And I still have uh, places in my bucket. <laughs> yeah, that is that to, to come back also. Yeah, well, yeah, Why but I, I, yeah. I know some place I want to go. Like uh, one place is on my list for a long time is Madagascar. But I need someone uh-huh. to come with me. Uh-huh. Because um, because uh, Madagascar doesn't have many roads. Mm. Uh, around the capital, there is more roads, but most of the place you need to travel with jeeps. Uh, so okay. Okay. there are no bus. Some places you have to take like a boat. The village are along the coast. Traveling alone, uh, it's more challenging because most of my travel, I use rent a car. 
I mm. I use buses, public, public transport. Uh, public transport, yeah. Public transport. You you arrive to meet a lot of people, to to visit a lot of cities. How do you decide mm. the the next city? Or because you told me yeah, it's very well. Some uh, at the beginning, sure, we had like going from one country in Asia to the other. But after a while, it's like uh, sometime we were just throwing a penny on the map. <laughs> Sometime meeting a guy like you say, ah, there's a festival in that place. And okay, we go that Let's way. Go I still wonder. I call that wonder. I like to wander around. I like getting lost. I suggest also if you travel, let be crazy. Yeah, exactly. It's nice to be crazy. You know, if you feel to dance, dance. If you feel to, I don't know. Uh, we used to carry a long time ago, cassette of music. And when the music was bad on the bus, we said, can you put this cassette? <laughs> and we were like dancing. Just dance, yeah. 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 Let's dance. Let's be happy. It's contagious. What? Happiness is contagious is if true. you're happy. It is true. And um, be alone and be, it's also very nice because uh, that's what meditation is for. And, mm. uh, There is um, time for peacefulness. Avoid the noise. Uh, yeah, you have to resource yourself. Exactly. Ah. Just do the things without plan. Just do the things that uh, you feel happy and uh, mm. everything comes to you. Yeah, it's just like uh, they used to say a, a joke like, um, if you want to be rich, uh, keep close to a rich. But it's the same. If you want to be happy, stay close to also. happiness. I hope uh, the day I die that people will dance and chant and celebrate. There's nothing to be sad. Um, you can't figure me dancing in life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I, I get your point. I get your point. Yeah. So j just to, because I, I want to, to take, I don't know, to, to, to do a video of four hours, but I need to, to, to cut in one time. In, um, if you have uh, another advice or something to say, yeah, I know it's a, a big question. Uh, uh, not advice or uh, your thinking or well, your free. Don't put a uh, fence. Uh, everything is possible. There is no age. No sex, uh, no, no nothing. See, I left by myself alone. And I remember I called God the big guy. I said, big guy, you know, if you think that I can meet someone and be happy and spill happiness, uh, I want a guy like this. And I made a big list. Ah, and, yeah, and I did the joke. I was like, okay, I don't want to smoke. I don't want to wear a watch. I the joke at the end. When I met David a year after, he had everything. We travel uh, 19 years together, living in a bedroom. So that's that's 24 hours on 24. You have to have connection. Yeah. And yeah. Just, uh, it went really well until, uh, sorry to say, but he passed away mm -hmm. from a cancer. So... It's, it happened, even if I was angry at the gods. <laughs> But um, you can travel alone, and there is no problem, if, even if you're a woman. Back at yeah. me, I met someone, and it was my soulmate, and uh, yeah. it was yeah. happiness. Yeah. So just, just enjoy the time, me in the present, I don't know. Exactly. Let me say that, yeah, it's not yeah. simple for me, for everyone, I think, but... For me, so, but yeah, trust. I, I trust, trust, mm, trust yeah. the life. The life is the best driver. For me, I always trust the life and every time he show me the way, it's a good driver. The life is the best driver. I think that uh, we spoke about, uh, we give advice, we give uh, your story. I think it's very, very interesting. And can I argue? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy life. You too. Yep. You too. Uh, I can speak maybe in Italian in the end, I don't know. Penso che siamo arrivati alla fine del video. Se avete qualche domanda, commento, avete qualche curiosità da, da scrivere, fatelo pure. E ci vediamo al prossimo video. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>